Welcome back to the Canadian Video Game Awards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to cast your minds back. Back into the past, years and years ago, all the way to the beginning of the show. Do you remember how in the beginning of the video game industry, groups of two or three people would put all of their savings and time into a dream in the hope that someone would play their game? Well, that's still going on. Only now, we give awards away to those dream chasers these days. Uh, please welcome our next two presenters. Here comes Batman again, but he also plays Captain America, Ezio Auditore, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Be because he's sensitive. Roger Craig Smith. Uh, joining him is the program consultant, interactive digital media at the Ontario Digital Media Corporation, Kim Gibson. Thank you, Mark. One more round of applause for Mark. He's doing a great job. Give it up for Mark. Mark, I, I, am, I am indeed sensitive, and, and, and I want to say great job on that uh, audition reel uh, for the role of Aizo. If anyone caught that, yeah, Aizo. Hi, Kim. Save me. Hello, Roger. I am really happy tonight that you are the voice actor and not me, because I am suffering from a wee bit of laryngitis. Regardless, it is a thrill to be here tonight to celebrate all of the talent in this country. It's obviously very important for the OMDC to support the development happening in this very province, but it's awesome to see people from all over the country here tonight to celebrate the amazing games that we make here in this fabulous country of ours. Should I? I shouldn't. It's a very um, true. As a matter of fact, um, some of us actually flew here all the way from America. But I bet you had the bat wing. Or maybe Leonardo da Vinci went something up for you. No. no, I did not have the bat wing. And Leonardo da Vinci did not whip something up for me. Uh, I actually flew here, <clears throat> I flew here on coach. Uh, it was basically four and a half hours of sitting between two, two teenagers that kept saying, I'm Batman. So, this, uh, give her a round of applause for still coming out and doing this. This there, look like a standing ovation. Proof that Canadians are very friendly people. Right there. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the best Canadian made, Canadian made for, for once, uh, indie games from 2013. No, no, no! It's, it's Canadian made the whole night! I don't need to specify. And the nominees for best indie game are... Contrast. Compulsion Games. Focus Home Interactive Compulsion Game. Don't Star. Play Entertainment. Play Entertainment. Guacamelee. Drink Box Studios. Drink Box Studios. Infinite. Nexus Game Studio. Nexus Game Studio. MacGuffin Quest. Pixel Crucible, Execution Labs, Outlast, Red Barrels, Red Barrels, Pocket Mine, Roof Dog Games, Roof Dog Games, Rogue Legacy, Cellar Door Games, Cellar Door Games. Sans-Froid, Tales of Werewolves, Artifice Studio, Artifice Studio, Super Stickman Golf 2, Noodle Cake Studios, Noodle Cake Studios. And the winner is... Guacamelee.
Thank you so much. Um, thank, to, thank you to the Canadian uh, Video Game Awards. Uh, I actually uh, want to take a minute to acknowledge uh, the Ayotzinapa kidnappings and all the terrible stuff that's happening in Mexico. Um, Guacamole is a game that tries to put Mexico in like something that we can be proud of and the stuff that's happening right now is not something any Mexicans should be proud of. And uh, we don't have magic masks there, so we just need everybody's support from every country, everywhere. And um, so, yeah. So, thank you. This this means so much to us. Thanks so much. Awesome guys! I'm super proud of you. Uh, so. Here are the best Canadian that made indie games from 2014. And the nominees for best indie game are... Always Sometimes Monsters, Vagabond Dog, Devolver Digital, Bio Inc, Dry Gin Studios, Dry Gin Studios, Glitch Hikers, Silver String Media, Silver String Media. I saw her across the world, Crang Games, Crang Games. Mercenary Kings, Tribute Games, Tribute Games. Super Time Force, Capybara Games, Capybara Games. The Fall, Over the Moon, Over the Moon. The Long Dark, Hinterland Studio, Hinterland Studio. The Veil, Wayward Productions, Wayward. Uncanny X-Men, Days of Future Past, Glitchsaw. Let's stop. All right. <clears throat> and the winner is. Sorry. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Always, sometimes, monsters. <laughs> that was. You guys can't do that twice. Wow, uh, thank you. Jesus. What's that say? So we each get one now. There's so, there's, yeah, it's a cool. Go make video games, it works. Uh, I, I just want to thank everyone else who was nominated. It's amazing that I, we shouldn't win this, but thank you. Um, <laughs> hi, Lauren. Did I already thank my dogs? I. I just want to clarify, Ladybird's in the game. Uh, her full name is Ladybird, TT White Wizard, something. But uh, thank you so much. This is an amazing honor. We started this journey two years ago, and um, we never thought we'd have this. So make games. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, thank you to Roger and Kim. Congratulations to our winners. Uh, and great stuff, everyone. We have a lot more from the CVAs. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors.